When you're squinting at a chest X-ray, whether it's PA, posteroanterior, or AP, anteroposterior, you're looking through the window to the body's grand central station, the chest. Now, depending on the angle, some bones play peekaboo, while others are bold as brass. Let's dive a bit into how ribs make their cameos in these health-centric snapshots. Hash 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 PA versus AP chest X-rays, the vantage point variance. First, let's clear up the alphabet soup of PA and AP. PA chest X-rays are taken with the X-ray beam passing from back to front, while AP X-rays see the beam going from front to back. Think of it like being backstage at a concert, PA, versus being out in the crowd, AP. Each gives you a different perspective. Hash 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 seeing ribs, a skeletal game of shadows. Now, onto the bones of contention, our ribs. In both PA and AP X-rays, you can indeed see the ribs, but there's a twist or two to this bony story. PA chest X-rays. This is the preferred standard and the go-to method for many reasons. The patient stands facing a flat X-ray detector, and the X-ray tube is about six feet behind them, shooting forwards. With the heart closer to the detector, you get an undistorted sharp image. The ribs? They stand sentinel in the image, pretty clear and ready for a head count, especially at the lung fields where they're superimposed over aerated lung tissue. AP chest X-rays. The plot thickens here. Often used in bedside scenarios for patients too ill to stand, the X-ray source is closer, about a foot or so from the patient's chest, with the detector behind them. This proximity means things can look larger and hazier due to magnification, and some of those ribs might seem like they've hit the gym a bit too hard. Also, since the patient is typically lying down or semi-reclined, the ribs appear more horizontal than usual. Hash, hash, hash. But why the difference in rib appearance? The reason we see the ribs clearly in both types of chest X-rays boils down to technique and the patient's anatomy. The back-to-front approach of PA views keeps the heart and other structures in truer proportion, so ribs are better delineated. In AP views, though, the heart and other mediastinal structures might seem enlarged, which can overshadow those shy rib contours. Hash 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 ribs, the telltale bones. In both views, the ribs tell their own tales. Fractures, lesions, and other abnormalities can be game changers, so radiologists often play detective with these bony arcs. The key is to know what you're looking for, and of course, to remember that each patient's x-ray is as unique as their skeleton. So there you have it. Whether you're looking at the chest from a backstage or a front row seat, the ribs are there, sometimes bold, sometimes bashful, but always a critical piece of the human body puzzle. It's like they're waving at you saying, hey, take a good look. We're not just here for rib tickles and protection. We're diagnostic gold. Keep in mind, I'm no radiologist, but in the world of medical imaging, perspective is everything and getting a clear picture is like art. It's all in how you look at it.